Here we go, grabbing the 2020 Duramax keys because we're doing a little truck work today. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Now we are gonna need the 2020 keys because we're doing, we are doing a little towing today and I'll explain that shortly, but since the Hellcat is here and it's soon gonna be, it's, it's soon gonna belong to one of you, let's crank her up and hear that beautiful supercharger potentially one last time. Just giving her some reps. Oh! oh, the Hummer makes some noise. Didn't even hear you. I told him I'm gonna cry later about it, probably. Uh, Sit like, out here and cry. Freaking love this car. <laughs> the more you see it, the more it grows. That's right. And like, honestly, video doesn't do it justice. When you see this thing on the road is something else. Dude, I wish we could take like, you know, like video of reactions, but there's nobody out. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Down on the, the, during the, uh, the protest. protest. Oh my God. Oh, what were we Ripped that a fat been, burnout right in front of the Capitol. Action out the, dang. Man, we are, what are we doing? Fat burnout in front of the Capitol. We're just wasting life. We don't know what we're doing, dude. Buddy, what are we doing today? I was just gonna ask you that. You oh, I, I don't know. I didn't reveal what exactly you're doing because I don't, I know. I, I'm gonna let you upload first. That's fine. I'm ready to see what uh, what this new toy has against the Urus, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. Shane's getting something that's really cool and really fat. Think like Blazer, but just much better in every uh, way. I wouldn't say. I would say better. Okay. Yeah. Better. <laughs> it's newer. a it's a lot better. A lot newer. And newer. Newer. Okay. I like that. This will give it away, but I kind of built my own side by side here. And uh, this is my version of a side by <laughs> of a side by side. Dude, that's all I'm waiting to do is take it to Coles and see what kind of cool stuff he can pop up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, I guess you know, cats out of the bag. Cats out of the bag a little bit, yeah. but yeah. So I posted a picture last night, and I did pull the trigger on one of those machines. And okay. The head and go see which one it is. Check out Shane's channel. <laughs> It'll all be on there. And we're gonna have a lot of fun this season. Dude, there's so much going on at the shop right now, it's unreal. I have, dude, I haven't told anyone about that. Oh my, how freaking Wait until you guys see, oh. It's like, oh, a dream come true. It's wild. It was on my wish list for a while. So, I mean, you know, eventually once things open up, uh, we'll be doing a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, it's a little dirty. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Do you need like to wear like a bodysuit just to stay clean? Oh my God, yeah, it's horrible. Oh, but it's fun. It is fun. <laughs> yeah. So are you ready to go to Roush Creek then? I'm 100% ready to go to Roush Creek, dude. Oh my God. She's ready, she still runs, everything's good to go. What damage has happened to it? Uh, Okay, when, well I shot the roll cage a few times. <laughs> so that was, that's nine millimeter. Serious. Nine mil didn't go through, 45 went through Damn. sometimes. 762 went right through it. Dang. There was actually one round that went through this side and out the other side. Wow. Uh, so, but Cole, I already talked to him. He said the structural integrity is fine because it's welded in so many places, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so we're good to go on that. A lot of bullet holes in the original cab, but again, that doesn't matter for like the structure. And she's good to go. That one looks like it could weaken the structure a little bit. Yeah, but he said, he said this doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, so we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna crank her up. Let's go. All right. All right, boys. About to load up the trailer and pick up Shane's new toy. I'm excited. I've wanted one of these things forever. I kind of built my own with the Blazer. This is going to be really, really cool. We're gonna have a lot of fun this season once everything gets back to normal. If it does, I would do anything to get back to the off-road park, you know, and it might not happen this whole season. Big question is, are you gonna wrap it desert camo? Dude, obviously. I already got it laid out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Good. I'll have to show you when I get back. Oh my god. I was wondering. I was like, I wonder if he'll match it, if he'll wrap it to match or if he's gonna change the fleet. It's like the only one that's close. We go in the back and the front. I don't know, but that's the one Ryan was looking at. The red one. Yeah. Cool. Like Look that. at all these can ams, bro. What did they come in those boxes? Yeah, they come in crates. Are you serious? They get built. There that's she is. That's crazy. That's yours? Wow. Oh, damn. Look at look at how nasty that thing looks. That thing is gnarly. <laughs> what? what? 
A oh can am. God. This man goes out and buys a can am Maverick Dude, Turbo. I didn't realize they were gloss. Like, that's painted gloss. <laughs> He can't even get out of the truck fast enough. <laughs> that is sick, dude. Wow. Yeah, it's like... It was all like texture. Like, yeah, metallic black. <laughs> Are you serious? This is yours? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at how... These things are so cool. This is something else. I'm ready. Oh my god. So cool. Going right in the mud. <laughs> Look at how crazy the suspension is. See, this is the blazer's cool, but the, the blazer ain't got nothing on this. It's cool and unique in its own way, but if you want to go off roading, this is the vehicle to do it. That is awesome. This is going to fly. I know. They have like a 72 inch wide version. Okay. But for riding up a PA, like, dude, the trails are too yeah. small for that, so. Dude, tell me about it. Roush Creek, my blazer, like, yeah. hits the trees on both sides yeah. of I the path. I the 72, but they haven't widened all the trails, so wherever you go, it's going to be too, too tight. Oh, this is nice. Dude, look at them. Look at those headlights. Bro, this Sick. Is, dude. A Turbo RR. <laughs> this I thing is going to be so it. fast. Dude, you should see what you can do to these <laughs> <laughs> so break-in period, as I said, 10 hours, 200 miles is what they require on it. You gotta be easy on her. 30 miles for the uh, <laughs> belt. Um, the maintenance schedule is going to be on page 100 here. Light switch. They do have a schedule. Got a gear selector there. So, Front do, diff lock. That is so freaking cool. <laughs> a little diff lock on so the Can-Am. So it's a Can-Am Maverick Turbo RR. Did not know he was getting the turbo. I didn't know you were getting the turbo on. <laughs> that is so, look at the exhaust. So this is the it's like one hexagon. The door handle at. Oh, look, you got Rolls Royce doors on her. Yeah. Suicide doors. Open the other way. Here we go. I'll close you in, bud. There you go. There's two keys on here. I programmed them. The green key is the performance key. The gray key is the slower key. Keys. Uh, a normal key so it cuts you back about 10 percent on torque and limits you at about 42 miles an hour max okay so for someone you don't necessarily want to have the power this thing has given the gray key right makes sense <laughs> mike you're getting the gray key i'm getting the gray key <laughs> how do i get the gray key it's definitely fast i wasn't like pressing the gas a lot and i was like trying to feel for it oh my god what you can do to adjust it back to is change the drive mode okay <laughs> Ooh. It's actually pretty quiet, so you could be stealthy with it and get away with like some not maybe not legal off roading. It's kind of neat. It's got a different driving mode. That thing has different driving modes. <laughs> like, what is this? It really is like a little car. You know, it's not really a four wheeler. It's like a little, it's a tiny off road car. I think in some places you can even put a license plate on these and drive it around on the street. <laughs> that would be so cool. Now, PA, the laws are a little bit more strict. I don't think we can do that here, but that is really, really awesome. Chunky mud tires on her. <laughs> I love the door. Love how the doors come out like that. So cool. Do her big, here, bud. Here comes, Do her big. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta get one. I gotta have one. Let me know in the comments. I gotta, uh, I gotta get one. That thing is so cool. <laughs> I, I don't know guys, this might be dangerous. Shane and a turbo side by side. That's gonna be wild. All right, we're in. So foot on the, is that the gas? That's the gas, okay, foot on the brake. Here he goes, up onto the trailer. Yeah, I didn't bring my ramps because I just four wheel drive it with the blazer right up onto it, but. This, this should fit a lot better than the blazer too. Heck yeah, plenty of room on the side. Don't have to drive over the fender. <laughs> I just start riding. <laughs> All right, bud. Dude, who the hell is DCMR? No, I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> what think we know? We know about them, bro. <laughs> we don't know anything about driving a uh, ATV Ill illegally. Side by side, loaded up. We are ready to rock and roll, boys. 
that I, I, I really feel like I need one. Unfortunately, I feel like I need one. Well, I think we made it. I think so. Still back there. 2020 felt real good towing the side by side. It was actually kind of fun because everyone looked at it going by. I guess it's pretty neat looking. And uh, I'm a big fan, huge fan. By the way, uh, the shop might look a little different and that's because the entire building just got painted black. Uh, that was something Shane wanted to do for a while. So, you know, it used to be like that weird kind of like tan cream color. Well, now it's all black to match kind of the in Shane Designs theme, black and white. And I think he's gonna do some accents like white, but that looks really, really neat. It almost looks like not real. It kind of looks Photoshopped in a way. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Good? It's close, but you're good. Yeah, you got like an inch. Yeah, you're good. All right, I'm gonna gun it. You're gonna floor it? Off of it. Okay, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Dude, it like barely moves. I forgot like, to hit the override. Like, it didn't even bounce at all. Oh my God, that thing is so sick. <laughs> he won't see it. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes! Oh, he's ripping on it! <laughs> it's like as big as the car. <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's so sick. Oh my god. Woo! Take it out to the car. Yeah. Is it fast? Oh, yeah. It looked like you were hauling butt, dude, coming back that way. Yeah. She ran. <laughs> we're back, and uh, yeah, I feel like I would really want a side-by-side, -side, although the Blazer is really cool in its own way. You know, the fact that it's unique. Everyone, anybody can go out and buy a side-by-side. -side. I kind of made my own, and it's a full-size, like, Chevy truck, and I love that. That's really cool. But maybe when the Blazer blows up, but there again, see, when the Blazer blows up, I want a 5.3 junkyard swap it and put a turbo on it. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Although the side-by-side, -side, you can't argue, is the better off-roader. It might not be more reliable because the Blazer is reliable as anything. Uh, but it would fit here. The side-by-side -side is easier to tow. And it's got two seats, although I could put a seat in the Blazer, but I don't know how safe that is. I feel like the side-by-side -side is maybe a little safer than the Blazer is. Um, so I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. But for right now, the Blazer is my off-roader. If and when, and I'm thinking it's more a matter of when because I think the Blazer does have rod knock now, maybe then we'll get an R. ZR. I did want to talk about the Viper and the ZR1 because when I got the Viper, if you noticed, all of a sudden the ZR1 disappeared and I have the footage for you, I think. Uh, if I have the footage, I'm going to play it now. If I don't have the footage, I'll put in a fun clip. All right, guys. Well, quick update for you. I never like to film, you know, with the car guy here because he's just, he's trying to do his job and everything. So I don't usually break out the camera. Um, but the ZR1, you can see the big truck it's going to go into. And she's going down to LMR for a little work as well. Now, now the ZR1, let me take the POV cam off. I was going to be lazy and just talk with that on, but I felt weird. It was already, you know, the GoPro was already on the POV hat but I feel weird like talking to nobody. I feel like when I'm holding the camera, it's like I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the people. Um, so basically, yeah, ZR1, nothing wrong with it. Just, I felt like it really needed a little tune up because it's been, and again, it runs great, but it's been like 6,000 miles and no oil change, uh, no spark plug change, nothing like that. And you know, when you're running a car at that level that hard all the time, you wanna make sure it's taken care of. And I, I really have nothing going on. And I figured, you know, might as well ship it out. I got the Viper. I'm on Viper content anyway right now. Figured it'd be the perfect time to ship out the car. And we'll see here how she's doing. Might be in the truck already. I don't know. But yeah. So ZR1 gone to Texas. It should be back by the end of this, this week coming up. That's your update on the ZR1. Not sold, not gone anywhere. I love that car. It's still my favorite car by far that I've ever owned. And uh, it should be home here shortly. C8 update coming at you as well here in the very, very near future. We are getting incredibly close to having a finished twin turbo C8. And that's about all I got for you. If you enjoyed this upload, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.